Okay, I'll start this so that you will. So this is a 31 page, 31 page new documentation that was released. Remember we were working on 107 page last time. Mm -hmm. Remember that? This is the frequently asked question, which is 31 page long. So you could see. So that's all I'm gonna go over, okay? Yeah. So the new documentation came out March 1st. And if you see here, the regulations, it says by March 15, the regulation will be issued. So even this, it says not a final draft, not a legal advice, but discussion policy purpose only, they have released it as a draft. And I, I was able to get this link on March 1st. Mm -hmm. So there are new changes that I noticed. So that's all I'm going to um, discuss with you today. So this this date is important for us to follow. So by March 15th, we should go and get the final draft. Okay, that's one assignment I think we should work on. And then when can I apply for business license, which is what we are looking at, right? And that would be by, only by April 1st, okay? So it's not even available to, because I wrote to Cannabis so nobody, Commission. So nobody can apply. Until like, because we don't even have the regulations. Regulations going to be released March 15th. So I don't know how much they want to change mm -hmm. because I see more changes in this. And what kind of business license we can apply for? Remember in the past I said there are 11 licenses, right? Yeah, now it is, it is no, now it is again changed to five. Each one, right? So do you see the number? So it's like dropped to only five now. In the past, it used to be eight with a subcategory. Mm -hmm. So that's again gone back. Oh, so, so now- they just, they just grouped them. Yes, grouped them differently in you know, five categories. One is retail, one is manufacturer, cultivator, craft, marijuana, cultivator, cooperative, and independent testing lab. I feel personally for us, the way I looked at it is craft, marijuana, cultivate a cooperative would be better because then we can stack each other's license. Craft, and make marijuana, it a craft marijuana, cultivate. cultivate a cooperative because their delivery would be there, cultivation would be there, research would be there. So that group would be working better for us. Yeah. Because then you can supply farmers, you know, you can be a business to business. How can I get license to grow or sell industrial hemp? This is the piece I was interested in because for research, I wanted to do this. But under this law, used only for research purpose and commercial is not a determined. And how much I can have, it's six plants per person. And if in case you have another person in your family who is also eligible to use, max is 12 plants per yeah. household. That's a max you can grow, okay? That's what it is laid out here. So in your home, you can possess up to 10 ounces cultivated on the premises. And also because it's considered a medicine, it has to be secured by a law. So you cannot go in what? public. So even in home, you need to have security features. Security. So you need to have it like in some sort of a plant cultivated on the premises has to have some sort of a security feature, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the penalty is 100. So the penalty is different now because in the past they had a different type of penalty system. And you cannot you have it in an open container. And uh, like if you're traveling, this is for, sorry, this is for driving. Can I drive with, with Mariana? And here, the plant is max 12 plant. 12 is for the whole household if you have two people. Only one person. Oh, I think. So I'm that's sure. for delivery. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. See here? So you can grow six plants per person. And if you have another person who is 21 years uh, lay, living with you, then max is 12 plants. And it cannot be visible in a public place without use of binocular aircraft or other optical aids, and it cannot produce extracts at home that is flammable, that is like butane and other stuff that is dangerous. So you need to make sure it is like under 100 degrees Fahrenheit cultivation, yeah. okay? And then the package has to be, if you're driving in the car, it either can be in the trunk or in the sealed glove compartment, right? Trunk or in locked glove compartment, okay? Can I smoke or consume edibles at work? 
it depends on the discretion of the employer it says can my city or town ban adult use yes but if the city already voted for it to be legalized they cannot they can't go back on that they cannot uh, like uh, revoke it unless there is a new ballot ballot like the town has to okay. have a meeting and this town passed <clears throat> yes like this yes this Which won't this, happen ever again yeah so like this <laughs> this town did allow us to grow but like you know they also have some rules so we need to make sure we are following the rules can i smoke or consume edibles that we already went in can my city turn can, will this new law impact my current card it says patient does not change under the adult law use until to, uh, under the act of the december 31st 2017 but it will transfer from dph to commission so the person who's going to oversee the medical marijuana program would be a separate cannabis commission rather than department of public health mm -hmm. so it's like transfer of authority what if i have a question you can email cannabis commission at state.ma.us when i called about research license they asked me to just write an email to them i wrote to them already i haven't got any reply okay and uh, the the schedules locations is on cannabis control commission so that's the url mass.gov/org/cannabiscontrolcommission okay and then if you go these are like subsections they have and i feel the valiant point i'm going to do it says here is cannabis considered agriculture for local purpose because agriculture has some benefits tax benefits and it says no there is no agricultural benefits okay so you need to pay tax remember in farming you don't have to pay tax you understand tax purpose yeah but that's revoked so you are going to pay tax when you grow Cannabis. So there are like few few things we yeah, need to understand. Yeah, yeah. So every everywhere you're going to pay pay to the government, okay? Yeah. And this is the deadline. So currently January, it held the new documentation, and the March final regulation will be implemented, which is what we need to look out for. And then April they will accept new application, and retail sales will open July. And then the advisory board it's saying all this. and then advisory board two year term they hold so i'm going to go over because it's more like regulation i'm not interested i'm not in the legal side so i'm not interested and is cannabis control commission subject to open meeting law yes okay so you can look at their agenda and attend their meeting if you want what's that like a no, tabernacle meeting no, you, no. so they they are not secretive like essentially meaning like you can go and participate in the meeting learn more because it's a open yeah. open meeting law right so it's not like consumption restrictions is it legal to consume in public no just like to, like you know i think like tobacco oh yeah i know you can yeah, so but whereas in colorado they didn't have this it's got to be that's why in colorado they were public, publicly smoking in the uh, play fields like you know when children's playground and stuff so right now even if it is legal you cannot openly smoke or use so that is a little bit nicer i mean like for the i'm not saying uh, it's good or bad but i feel like you know this at least puts like a little awareness you know yeah. just like little awareness on a public like oh, you yeah, cannot yeah. just like that we put joint and say okay i have a medical card so i can smoke anywhere i want okay, can't do that. yeah what i'm saying is it is important to understand because you can get a 100 dollar penalty if in case you do not understand this rule mm -hmm. you understand so it's limited only to 21 with specific medical exemptions and cities and towns may pass by laws for social consumption in certain areas so only designated places you can smoke not anywhere you know. if they have a smoke in a public stuff. place you cannot like you cannot go to the park and smoke just because you have a car you're on your property it's fine yeah no the what i'm saying is watch out for like uh, the uh, verbiage <clears throat> and then contracts with mariana business and mariana trans transaction or contracts enforceable yes so it's a lawful operation so you need to have a contract definition of mariana related products activities and hemp what is the difference 
defined by law anything with the genus cannabis. But the stocks are exempted. So cloning is an option which I really want to pay attention to because cloning is included in this mature stock, fibers, oil cakes, other compounds, all derivative mixture preparation are incapable of germination. These are not included. So I feel clone nursery, we can like, you know, figure out like whether we can fit it in in this part, which means like, you know, it's like, it is part of seed to say, sale, but like how do we use industrial hemp to teach and at the same time do education and stuff we can see. And hemp is exempted from being in this. So if I'm doing hemp, I need to be licensed for research, but I am not uh, the activity of hemp is excluded from marijuana. Oh, really? Yeah, but even then, I cannot grow it without permission. Remember that? Okay. So what they are defining is, yes, it is marijuana by law, but hemp is excluded. Okay, so or uh, uh, the other ingredient that is topical, food, or the drink product, they are not building it in. So there are little leaves. So we just need to understand how to imply or apply this. And then these are like, you know, any testing, analyzing, repackaging, accessories, products, process, manufacture, hemp is anything that does not exceed 0.3% on dry base. And you cannot uh, grow it for commercial purpose, only for research purpose, right? You what? The hemp even, you cannot grow it for industrial purpose oh, okay. only for research purpose right now delivery services i have received a business card for the company that delivers how do i know if it is lawful business currently this is where you want to pay attention right the only individuals authorized to deliver sold to consumer or dispensary agent you understand mm -hmm. so dispensary agents are required to carry a registration card issued by public health the registered dispensary open for business are listed on the website. So currently, there is no delivery license available, but it will go under now, retail. I, I, I looked on some of the, you, get, you, you look on a, like delivery services, and there are, there are certain. Delivery. Those are going to go away. They're going to go away. They're going to be. They would be, they would be, have, yeah. They they'll have to work through yes. a dispensary. See. Right now, you have to have a registration card issued by public health. If they do not have it, they are not legal delivery service. Mm -hmm. So what could be is individuals selling their own. They are sharing that. By July 1st, they wouldn't be able to operate. You understand? If they get, if they get caught. Right? Yeah, they, yeah, they would yeah, be having a penalty, but I don't know about their penalty. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to pursue that path, you have to apply by yeah. April 1st. Okay, so we'll we'll figure it out. What yeah. I'm saying is, I'm just trying to figure good, out. You, you think that's a good, uh, mm -hmm. a good yeah. road for that? For you, for you, yeah, I think definitely. But like, what I want to do is don't um, go into one track until you figure out what are all your options. Right now, there is five groups. Mm -hmm. In the five group, the cooperative, I felt, is nicer because then you can do the delivery, you can, like, you know, transfer, like, you know, you can even be like an independent contractor. Yeah. So I feel this one, what protection exists for farmers? So here it says the, they want farmers and businesses to participate. And this includes the CAF Mariana Cultivator Cooperative and the commission with Department of Agriculture what is it called? Department of Agriculture Resources, D-A-R. Uh, they are going to figure out, like, you know, committee on ways and means of participation regulated by farmers and businesses. The first report will provide recommendations to have the farmers access to these, including agricultural land and land protected by reservations. And all this would, would be able to, that uh, it will come into effect on July 28, 2018. And then by this year end, we'll have an updated 
process in the general court. Okay. So it's a long process. Yeah. It's not like, can I gift it? This is very interesting too. Right now in Newberry Street, they have a store where you buy something and you can gift Mariana. They will take it away. Can I give Mariana or Mariana products as gift? Yes. But, the but part is it is illegal to give gift in conjunction with another sale. That's what they were doing in Newbury or I mean Newbury Street. They are selling something and they're gifting Mariana. So both were going hand in hand. Right now that's going to be taken away. You can gift, but you cannot have another transaction. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. And I think it's nice the way it's coming into play. So there is no like you know. Um, misunderstanding. You are legally. You're still going to have to be. You're going to. You're still going to have the black market. Yeah, but then the black market, the money transaction is not going to be visible. See, the thing is, black market is going to exist, no matter what. Yeah. But if you get busted, you're ruined for life. You can never ever operate in this business again. So why do you want to risk it? Mm -hmm. So no, what, what I'm saying, saying is, what I'm saying is like mo normal street dealers. They yes, but, but the thing is, this, if that's going to be against the law, but the, the, but the, the thing is, right? Law. The street dealers. The problem is sometimes the medicine is not getting tested. I have seen people coming up positive for cocaine because they are doing things that is yeah. inserted into cannabis, and I find it very worrisome for my patients because sometimes. You're getting a strain, you're assuming this person is doing the right thing by you, and they're giving you something that's not right. That's not, yeah. You know, so in the long run, but even though initially it's going to be hard, I feel in the long run it's going to serve a purpose. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like, you know, if we do all do this for the right reason, it's going to be a very successful business. And let's do it right. You yes. know, like what I'm saying is let's play it at least, you know, coming to this level where if we pass the ballot and it's become recreational and it's beyond the, like, you know, the original criminal activity, it's a big breakthrough. So what? Big breakthrough, right? Yeah, like yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah. You know, for our state. So let's do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, what the state is trying to do is make money and it's fine. Provided I make 10 times more, I don't mind chilling out a little bit, right? So the hemp program, this is what I am looking at because I really want to teach for teaching purpose, hemp makes more sense to me because it's cheaper to grow. <laughs> so what are the rules growing, distributing, manufacturing use of hemp? Under the law can only be used for research purpose, okay? Which is what I want, but commercial purpose will be determined later. And Department of Agricultural Resources is responsible for this process and it has the authority to license industrial hemp for commercial purpose and to write regulations. Right now, I wrote a Department of Agricultural Resources they do not have a regulation right now for him. for him. They told me I cannot do it unless I connect with the Border Patrol Agency and get an exemption, and I don't know. Similar to marijuana license, hemp license will be required in order to produce or distribute hemp seed, plant, grow, harvest, process, sell. So I need to get a hemp license, which I'm going to work on with the research. So this is where I am going to apply because this will make it easier for me to teach. Mm -hmm. So then home cultivation and manufacturing, this is six plants again, and it says if there is one more person living who is older than 21, you can grow 12 plants total. In the past, it used to be six in flowering, six in uh, vegetative mm -hmm. state, and total 24 plants. That's gone. It's become half, right? Yep. That's in, because in the past, it used to be double of this. So you, you can see like so many things changing. And then the plants must be grown and processed in area that they keep it at the lock and security. So it's not going to be just like that. You have like a garden and stuff. It cannot be visible and cannot be manufacturing the products at home. But that is only for flammable products. Remember, like, you know, you cannot do like butane extraction and you know, other that creates fire at home. Lab testing does Mariana so lawfully have to be tested. Yes, all the products has to be tested, okay? Who performs this testing? The labs must have a license, so they must be accredited. And labs must be independent financially. 
labs might be qualified to test to Mariana, which already many labs are operating. So, but we can also apply for lab if you are interested. But like you know, I am not interested. But I'm saying that's another extraction lab is another the container feature you can do. How does commission ensure uh, independent testing? It has to receive like you know structure fees and possess uh, no individual possess an interest in the lab be an independent testing lab lab so they need to be an independent lab a background check required yes are the standards for testing yes of course they need to go through the united states form of the convention and then so th this one is the land what if lab finds evidence of contamination should report within 72 hours there is i heard they wasted millions of dollars in a lab that test possible mold in uh, colorado in colorado oh. one yeah was possible mold so they had to throw all they have to do recall on all their products and they had to waste like billions of dollars so the lab had mold i mean they tested right the the if there was an error, what it says is if there is any result indicating contamination, they have to report within 72 hours. That is, let's say, like, you know, in their lab, there is an error. But not only that, let's say, like, you know, the lab, like, understood there was a problem. The industry also gets a hit because this is, like, a two different thing I'm discussing. If there is a contamination, meaning, like, they tested and it was erroneous. They have to report to the commission. Mm -hmm. But also, on the other hand, if they tested and they had a problem with the test, the industry has to recall those products. They cannot sell them. So, like, you know, it has two features. Like, one is the lab also is going to get a hit for contaminating, meaning, like, not just, like, error in testing, but, like, if there is a process that was contaminated. Okay then the commission would investigate them why there was a contamination yeah. like if the contamination happened in their end rather than the oh, wow. the farmers end yeah. Yeah. but on the farmers end there is also financial loss right so you need there is a financial loss if there is a yeah. problem right yeah. so the lab has to be reliable right it would make sense like if by chance they erroneously said yours is wrong there is financial loss here, and they have to report themselves and correct themselves there, right? Yeah. Can landlord prohibit tenants from consuming or possessing marijuana on leased property? This is an interesting thing. They said it is similar to smoking regulation. Okay, so it reads here. Consuming marijuana by means other than smoking cannot prohibit. You understand? It's, so you cannot use this rule for edibles. So Only it's very interesting, smoking. smoking. So if you can understand that, because it's very interesting how they wrote it. Licensing. I'm interested in getting into marijuana industry. What licenses are available? Here is when they are again saying it's five kinds. And the marijuana cultivator is an entity licensed to cultivate, process, package, deliver to establishment, not to consumers. So, so this is up. one you can look at. But I feel the cooperative will be better. The second one is craft marijuana cooperative. It's a separate type. It it allows cultivators to pool, like we can work together as a group, yep. resources so that farmers and businesses of all size can participate. Co-ops might be comprised of Massachusetts resident organizers, limited liability company, partnership, or minus sole proprietor will be licensed to cultivate, obtain, manufacture, process, package, brand, deliver, but not the consumers. So this would allow ownership interest in co-ops, the total price produced by each co-op. So I feel this would be a better structure for us because this way, each one has like a specific designation. You can be a delivery. Yeah. I can be yeah. an industrial help research person mm -hmm. or a clone person. And Jay, who's like, you know, in real estate, he can be invested in real estate. So this would work better for our purpose because I don't want to be individual and get into trouble and then mm -hmm. 
in the financial loss. Whereas when you do cooperative, we have like more mm -hmm. resources to rely on. And then the third one is testing lab, which is the, lab, uh, the separate uh, licensing. And manufacturer is, that's another one. If you're interested, we can take a look. It is like a, the Racine Press in um, Colorado, I saw. They have like, you know, it's called. I loved it actually it's a beautiful Terminator business it's a bud trimmer so Eleven thousand dollars. Look at this. But I went and I saw like they had a whole. I'm going to take all the stems out. The shred. Yeah. And now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. It's called. Commercial. Maybe commercial. I have I had a, a whole uh, office that was the same press. Request that. I forgot uh, which company was it. Is it this one? Mm. I, I forgot which company. There was one whole company. Is it Pure Press? I forgot. I forgot Pure Press. Because I saw like the whole uh, they had like two hundred machine in their in their um, shop. Two hundred machines. Yeah. I forgot where is it? I saw where's that book. I forgot where it is. I saw which company did it, but is it the dab making? I forgot which one it was, but it was very interesting to see, like you know, industrial level, like you could do it. See this one. Hi, Diamonds. Rosing Technology. What is that uh, website? Let me increase the volume. That's just more bud. So this is the industry we can look at. Like I mean, I'm like saying, uh, like in the cooperative also. This is another field. Like you know. I feel if you can have like a target, okay, first year I'm going to do this, second year I'm going to do this, yes. then you can grow. Yeah. So you're starting the delivery, but like, you know, with that profit, where are you going to go next? <clears throat> where are you going to go next? Because this is amazing, like, you know, how like in one room, this is right? Re reinvesting. Yeah. So you could see, I think their website is Rosin 
press technology. I forgot like what it just said on the I'm going to pass it there. Rosintechnologies.com. What do I say? So you could see, like, you know, in one place, like how many machines they had. See? So if you can invest, each machine is like very expensive, but like, you know, you can just keep it to only one product and then grow that, yeah. right? It can become special. So but everything, like, you know, we need to understand exactly what is the um, thing you are attracted to. So the manufacturer, product manufacturer would be like that place. Like, you know, I, if I'm going to do that, like, I would lose something simple. You know, like, I mean, that, that's the way I think. Because yeah. instead of, like, focusing on five different things. Yeah, you don't want to go big. <laughs> yeah, just do, like, you know, maybe start with five machines. You know, like, it would be a big investment. But at least, like, you know, and that would be easily doable in your... Canapod. Yeah. So you think a canapod would be Canapod with a solar panel, and you can make it off the grid, and you can do this, right? And then retailer is currently whoever is dispensary automatically will become retailer. So these are open. Repeat that again. Dispensaries currently would automatically be converted into retailer because they will be able to sell because they already have the products. So the retailer will be brick and mortar company, meaning like they need to have like like an establishment where you service people. So these are the only people who can service the consumers. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this Legal. is provided, mm -hmm. and, and also you can do delivery there. But like these are provided, you have the license to operate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not like um, something that. You would take it lightly because okay. it has to retailer has a higher financial requirement. It's like a million dollar backup and other stuff. But you need to have operating expense already available, and you need to like show successful business operations procedures. So I think we need to be careful where do you go in because there is like you know a lot of uh, uh, learning we need to do. So that's why I feel understanding exactly where you want to start. And then focusing on building that will be important. For me, it, like you know, like uh, that rosin press, like that's why I bought like uh, just to just to experiment, like you know, a, a little press I bought just to see, like you know, how easy it is to learn. So that's a very nice space to start too. But again, it comes back to clean, like you know, testing, and, you know, not having any contamination. So there are a lot of standards we need to meet. So it's not like as as easy as it looks. Yes. Are there restrictions on how many licenses can one person or entity can hold? Yes. Not more than three licenses. Okay. How long do license last? It is one year. So, okay. So my, uh, my, my card, I just have to pay the, the, State. You already paid, you said. I already, yeah, I already have my card. I, I got my hard card already. So yearly, you just renew it with them. And it, it, it's just renewal. It's but not, that card is only for you. Yeah. yeah. You oh, cannot yeah. sell it to others. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but like what I'm saying is it's not oh, a can't. business card. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your personal card. Yeah. And uh, money on establishment or regulated by the commission, it broadly regulates, it says. And then industry jobs, what kind of jobs will be available? It says it will be related to yeah, they're going to write up policy and procedure. It says. Mm -hmm. And it says one thing Jay was mentioning. Jay is the other guy. I don't know whether you met him. He says if I employ people who are in recovery, I can um, get like some sort of a See, he is commissioned, required to conduct a study on participation of regulated, including participation of minority business, women business, and veteran business and enterprises. But 
<laughs> but there is <laughs> there is a way you can also encourage by people impacted so which would include include like people in recovery and stuff so he said to take a look at it background check there is a background check requirement number of different laws governing medical and adult use it says like you know this is the regulations during november another election what is uh, did approve for the legalization or uh, recreational use at request to be migrated to commission so the medical marijuana program in 2017 was supposed to be taken over by the commission by december 2018 mm -hmm. and so all this have been changes has been happening and is the product regulated yes overall yes what is marina product is entitled license to what, what marina product license it includes the obtain manufacture process package deliver transfer but not to consumers medical procedures or treatment can i be denied medical care if i consume does not change the classification so use of marijuana shall not disqualify medical use of marijuana i am a medical use registered adult this is for you what is going to happen to the program you you will have confidentiality right to confidentiality of records and communication related to their care and no, taxes will remain exempt from the taxes so if you have the card it is like almost like having a wholesale account mm -hmm. you get tax benefits penalties of violations i have seen the penalty like in the past like the previous document had a bigger number now it's like 100 dollars the max i saw is home cultivation if you don't have it secured you have a 300 dollar fine okay so that's it so if you're going going to grow at home you just have to have it secured i don't know what it means by secured i don't know what exactly they are uh, expecting no i don't know what it means by secured whether you need to have like uh, like some sort of an alarm system i have no idea what to, because it says it cannot be public place which means you are not you are going to be forced to be in indoor nursery right or even if it is outdoor some sort of a, a lock and key mechanism so so people cannot just walk in and steam mm -hmm. and then unauthorized attempted purchase this is the street the black market this is like a liquor right the only thing is transfer here the fine goes up okay knowingly and intentionally supplying giving providing products to a person under 21 years of age is $2000 fine or a imprisonment one year so it's like uh, underage <coughs> cannabis that is a bigger fine and then open container is a 500 dollar fine for possession personal possession is 1 ounce or 5 grams residential possession is 10 ounce so when you are traveling you want to keep it under 1 ounce and then the plant is 6 and 12 protection that's not applying to like if I was a delivery service, it's, that doesn't apply. No, delivery service, you're going to have a license. Remember, yeah. you're delivering what you don't have a license, you'll have a trouble. Yeah. So if you have a delivery, yeah, if you have a license, in license, again, it goes, I don't know whether the original document we read is going to play an effect. Remember, it goes by the tire, like if you apply for 1,000 square feet. So you have certain... Oh yeah, yeah. So I don't know whether that's going to be built in. See, I haven't seen the final regulations, so I cannot speculate. Did they say something about two-person concept too? Hmm? 
that's, it's got a delivery service is going to be a two person concept. Yes, that is in the old documentation we saw. Yeah, because you but this I haven't understood uh, until like the final March 15 regulation comes in. I don't know what the final results are. So in the old documentation, it did say two person. So it's like, it, that's sense. the same thing they do with the, like for diabetes, right? If they have to do insulin in hospital, a nurse has to be monitored by all of that. Nurse. <clears throat> so it's like kind of like a, like a safety mechanism, right? Protection for consumers or their legal protection for parents. Yes. Limits how to use or possess may affect pa parental rights. So if there is no clear danger to the safety of the minor child, neither the presence of cannabinoid components or metabolite in the person's bodily fluid nor conduct permitted under this chapter related to possession charged with well-being of shall be the primary purpose of substitution service plans, removal or termination of custody. So this is very nice. I'm glad they put it in effect because remember the other girl, she was saying only because of DCF they were getting the cards. Mm -hmm. So I'm like thinking this would fear wouldn't surface in future. July so first. This fear shouldn't be surfacing in July 1st because when it becomes a recreation, you don't need to worry. You don't have a card, so DCF will take them away. The what? So from July 1st, yeah, it's going to be you are not going to lose your child because you are smoking. Mm -hmm. But whereas right now, it's iffy. By July 1st, when this goes into effect, you don't have to worry about DCF. If it is done DCF? with Department of Child oh, okay. Protective Agencies, yeah. because many of my patients, like, you know, sometimes they are very anxious and they worry they will lose custody of their children. Oh, so if they okay. do I it properly it. and they understand and they say, okay, we are not exposing my child to smoke, and they are doing all the things that, Essentially, that's the same thing they would do with alcohol too. They are not going to openly, I mean, I'm saying this is a common sense. It doesn't yeah, mean like everybody is going to follow this, but I'm sure like, you know, people are going to do what they're going to do. But I'm saying if people are doing the right thing with the right intention, they wouldn't get into trouble. Yeah. But if they are doing manipulation and they are playing one parent against another, they are going to get into trouble. You know, like I feel at least legally, they are not going to punish them. Which is encouraging. And then professional license, a person engaged in professional occupation, not subject to disciplinary action, which is good. Research. This is the research by commission, not me. Like meaning like I am. So this is more like they're gonna come out with patterns of use, incidents, your impact. Impact and driving, economic, physical impact, ownership and employment trends. And it's going to be biased. I'm going to tell you, people who hate it are going to create like data that's going to. But what? People who hate it are going to create a data that says it does impact. Right. People who are favorable are going to create another one. So it all depends on which, which person is on that commission. These are the additional resources. So I think. I'm so glad you made it because I think we were able to discuss the whole documentation. Was it useful for you? Yeah. Yeah. Can you send that to me? Yes, definitely. Did you already send it to me? No. Uh, the the this one I'm going to do it nine. No. Okay. 